In this video, we look at Geometry of 3D Shapes, which is part of the AI course under Topic 3, Geometry and Trigonometry. Now, the key to going well in these types of questions is to become very familiar and comfortable sourcing and using the formulas provided to you in the AI formula booklet. Now, they're in two different sections. The first section is in prior learning. Now, these are more of the simple formulas that you would have encountered in your prior years of mathematics, simple area and volume formulas. And then we also have more advanced geometry formulas over in the topic three section, geometry and trigonometry, such as volume of pyramids, uh, volume of spheres, etc. Now in the AI course, there are six main types of 3D shapes that you'll encounter. They are cubes, rectangular prisms, cylinders, pyramids, otherwise known as right pyramids, spheres, and also hemispheres, which is just half a sphere, and cones. There are a few other um, types of shapes that may appear, such as triangular prisms, perhaps, uh, or maybe some other types of prisms, but these are the main six. So I recommend getting very comfortable and confident by with identifying the shapes, going and sourcing the relevant formula, and then bringing that back to your paper, and then substituting in the values. So for example, let's say the volume is of, volume of a sphere, you have identified that it's a sphere, you need to then go and either find the radius, or, or perhaps the radius is given to, given to you, and then substitute that radius into the formula. So in summary, the general process for these questions is to identify the shape on your page, go and source the formula from the AI formula booklet, and then substitute those values in and solve. Now, when, when we're encountering geometry questions, there are two types of measurements that you'll be asked to find. The first is a 2D measurement, which we call surface area. And the second is a 3D types of measurement, which we call volume. And just be careful with the units. Uh, let's say that the measurements for both of these were in meters, then your units for surface area will be meters squared, and your units for volume will be meters cubed. And it's important there that you get your units correct when providing your final answer. Okay, that was a quick summary video. I highly recommend now going and practicing some of these IB exam questions over in the 3D geometry section in the question bank.